Welcome to Sitecrete Pro Tips, Concrete Edge Repair. Today we've selected Sitecrete Fast Setting Cement Patcher to repair our broken edge. But as our first step, because the Fast Setting Cement Patcher does not have polymer, we do need to apply a bonding agent. So I'm going to start painting this on and I'll see you in a few. So we chose Sitecrete Fast Setting Cement Patcher because of the attributes that make it unique to how to fix this edge. This edge simulates a step. So what I'm going to be able to do is mix this material and I'm going to hold the trowel itself as my form. I will not have to put extra holes in the concrete putting up a wood form. It's a labor saver in that step in itself, I don't have to return the next day and yank wood off the front and then repair the holes. So I will be able to place it, lift it, and it will stay put. The beauty of this material is that it's dry in four hours, you can release it to foot traffic. At 28 days, you're hitting 5,000 PSI. So we've applied our bonding agent. While it's drying, we can start mixing our material. So I've got my material mixed. It's a little tighter consistency than a four to one because this material is designed to set really fast. I'm going to use my trowel as a form. I'm going to fill the space with the fast setting cement patcher. So the beauty of this material and the reason I chose it is it's designed to repair one quarter of an inch to two inch gaps or spaces. So that being so, it's perfect for this large chip, but you'll notice I don't get it up here above the repair. The reason is it's not a feather edge material. If I bring it up too high and try to trial it down tight, that little area that's feather edged will flake off in time. So just keep it inside the repair. The second thing is it sets in 20 minutes. So if it's a hot day, it's even setting faster than that. So it's perfect for these repairs where I want to get something back in use with no forms needed. So I've got the repair in place. Now I'm simply going to trowel it down and, and smooth out any extra material, sculpt it out that I don't need. And I don't need to overwork it. Just get the, get the repair material in place and then hold it still. So right now I'm going to let it set for about five minutes and be right back with you to where it'll already hold its form and we'll be able to raise the trowel. It's been five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take my brush. Remember I said you don't have to overwork the surface because the paintbrush, giving it its broom finish, will take away those imperfections. Now the trick is lifting the trowel without disturbing the product. So you have to slide it away. Don't pull straight out, the suction will pull the patch off. So now you see the patch stayed in place, it's only been five minutes. And for all intents and purposes, it's set. I'm gonna broom the front, now you leave it alone. That 20 minute set, even though you just saw in five it's done, it's just talking about the rest of that moisture getting set in the center of the material. So it's still a 20 minute set, don't get cocky but five to 10 according to the ambient temperature. Be prepared to slide that trowel away. Now in four hours, we can safely release this to foot traffic. So overall, this is an incredible labor saver and it's so easy to do in a very quick amount of time and get that concrete back in use.